Hey guys, it's the dog and rude dog back again. And if you can tell by the picture and probably the title, uh, I got another mail call. Uh, last video I did for a mail call item uh, was a hammock. Well, guess what? There must be some kind of gods looking down on me. I got another bargain on a hammock. And this time, guys, uh, it's not going to be a one-shot deal. This is something I'm going to be able to pass on to you. So I, it, you can see I started opening the package, and I thought, you know, I think I'll do a video on this. Um, the problem I ran into with the Slackjack hammocks, which I still have. They're wonderful hammocks. They're small. They're on the small side. Uh, and I learned that. I did an overnight. I slept in them. Um, and I found out you really need some more space uh especially if you're over six foot tall i'm six two uh six one six two i don't know they cut a piece out of me a piece out of me about a decade ago so i think i'm a little smaller than that now but uh you get the picture anyway we're gonna cut into this right here right, like i said i already tore it open here's the uh bag this hammock comes in it's got a nice little card this is let me see Relax. Hammock Adventure Travel. Now, this isn't really a name, uh, a brand rather. Um, it came from a seller in California. Uh, the name of the seller I covered up with my own address. So, Mike Buckmuller. All right. And what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to put a, I'm going to put a link. Oh, that's not. There we go. Uh, I'm going to put a link in the description for you guys to take a look at this hammock. This hammock was uh, $33 with shipping. Uh, you know what? Looking, looking. I'm going to annotate it. I'm going to, you know, here, I'm going to, right here. I'm going to annotate. This is how much this cost. All right, because I forget what it was with shipping. It was a, it was a, I think it was $33 plus shipping. So this is the price right here. I'm doing it again. All right. Um, I think, I haven't opened it up yet all the way. This is as far as I got. I think it was a bargain. It is a mosquito hammock. So this is a, this is a large size, a double hammock. All right, we're going to pull it out of its sleeve. Bag comes with a, uh, I believe it's an attached bag. Yes, it is all nice and neatly folded they had a number of interesting colors they had uh, colors with matching bug nets so they had like for instance they had it they had a red and black with a red bug net which I thought was really kind of cool but uh, you know we're never gonna be able to show this whole thing guys so what what am I gonna do here um, let's start show the ends we got a fairly typical average gathered end hammock it is triple stitched hope that's showing up there yep uh, triple stitched I'm not digging the feel of the cord that's running through here I may change that out uh, it looks to be about eight millimeter cord and it feels like a cover over some kind of poly or nylon cord uh, if I cut this open I'm, I'm thinking I'm gonna find some like cotton clothesline kind of cord just going by the feel though we'll see what happens when I get it hung up um, chrome steel hook it's not stainless steel hook there's a chrome steel hook on there uh, triple stitch like I said Cord is not crazy about. Here's what I'm happy about. I got a bug net. This is black. Let me see here. Yeah, you can see through that. That is a super, super fine mesh. Uh, I'm really pleased. That's what the main reason I bought this. Uh, I wanted a bug net hammock, and this has a really fine mesh on it. Um, and it's black. I wanted. Uh, I wanted a black. Uh, like I said, they did have some interesting colors with interesting uh, 
bug net colors, you know, if uh, if you're into that kind of thing. But me, I go for kind of the stealth thing. You, you probably see me wearing camo all the time. Uh, this is a tan, not coyote brown. This is a, a light tan, like a sand color. Uh, and an olive green, the majority of it's olive green. And then black uh, on the bug net. Um, again, this is a big hammock. Uh, I know it's a double wide. Um, I'm going to get it. I'm going to shut the camera down. See if I can string this up if I got enough room because I've only got a small space between two trees. There's only one place I can hang a hammock. Um, anyway, we'll, we'll see if I can get it hung up and I can shoot some video of it hung up. So guys, hang in there. We'll be right back. All right, guys. So here it is. You see the bug net. Nice, generous sized bug net. Um, I just threw it up real quick. I ran the shock cord. It did come with shock cord too, by the way, uh, which I was shocked at because I bought a uh, snug pack uh, jungle hammock with the bug net on it, and it came with paracord which if you go and lay in it with the paracord on there, it's gonna tear it to shreds. Anyway, this came with the shock cord, real thin shock cord. I probably will replace it anyway, but I was pleased to see that. And, oh, don't set him, but, bug me. Ah! <laughs> yeah, I was afraid of that. Give me one sec, I gotta readjust this. I sat in it once already. And of course it quickly stretched. See if we can try that again. Get the wood chips off my feet. I don't have a lick of grass in my yard. Before I put all the wood chips down, all I had was rock. So you can understand the wood chips are actually an improvement. But woohoo! Gonna get in this thing. It's big. This is, oh, this is nice. Oh my God, this is nice. Wow. Okay, so uh, it's double zippered. So I could get in from it from either end. And normally, where are we on the screen? There we go. Normally I would actually get in it from this end, but I don't know if you'd be able to see me. Um, but I always lay, uh, how do they say? Head left, feet right. That's how I normally lay. Uh, if you know about hammocks and laying on the diagonal. I've been doing a lot of research. And the reason I wanted to get the double was, well, like I said, the smaller hammocks, you can't really get that nice flat lay. And I know one thing's wrong. And that's that I got this thing, I got the foot higher than the head. So I'm not gonna get a flat leg no matter what I do. But, it's a big hammock. I'm sweating like nobody's business. But, wow, this is nice. I mean, this is nice. And this bug net is so sheer. I mean, there's no, it's more like a really sheer fabric than a net, it's, it's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. I can see clearly through it. You know, so if you're uh, a stargazer, which I am, you wanna lay out and see the sky. I'm not gonna zip that up all the way. I just wanted to close it a little bit. I didn't string the bug net up properly. I would normally uh, run, run uh, two bungee cords and I would stake them, not stake them. Um, I put a stick in between them to spread them out, cut, give it kind of a tent effect. Uh, like I said, I just threw it up here for a minute. I, I see now there's a couple of pockets sewn in here. I'll stick your cell phone in there, or your, a flashlight or something. I don't think it'd hold more than that. But I'm really happy. Now, when I got in it the first time, it stretched a lot. I don't know if it was so much the fabric as the ropes. Like I said, I'm not, I am not thrilled with the ropes that are on this. 
Um, but that isn't a big deal. As a matter of fact, I got something new I want to show you guys that I picked up. And I might, I might try it out on this hammock. Anyway, there it is. This was just supposed to be a quick, quick video. Short review. See if I can get out of here without shredding it. There you have it. Uh, no name brand. Bug net. Uh, double hammock. Um, when they say a double hammock, they really don't mean it can sleep two people, I don't think. Although you could, uh, size-wise, and they're, they're supposed to be weight rated. But really, it's just it's a larger hammock, uh, and it's better for, for bigger guys. Um, you can see I'm not a little fella. I'm 6'1", 6'2". Uh, depending on if I shrunk or not, and I'm over 220. Uh, this was rated for 250 pounds. If you remember the last video I did, we were, uh, I was trying to figure out what the 275 pounds meant, and it was actually the weight rating. So the, uh, what was that, Slapjack, the Slapjack hammock, 275. Uh, weight rating is actually a really good rating. Um, now I'm going to have to go back. I'll put some annotations in uh, about the material. Uh, th this was a last minute thing. Um, I hadn't thought it through. I should have wrote some stuff down and I didn't. Uh, I think this is polyester. If it's not, I'll annotate it. Uh, let me, I'll annotate it right here. Whether it's polyester or nylon, I think it's polyester. Because I know polyester stretches nylon does not I think I got that right um, anyway the uh, the ropes definitely have some bounce to them it feels like the fabric does too but I'm not concerned with that it feels good it's a nice big hammock and let me tell you something for the price that I'm putting up right here <laughs> this is a nice hammock for the price uh, I'm a bargain hunter like I said, I, I wanted to name this channel uh, Cheap Cheap Bastard Outdoors, but uh, everybody talked me into keeping Rude Dog because they, they, everybody said they know me as Rude Dog, and that's, that's what they want me to stay with. So, uh, Guys, like, comment, share, subscribe. Don't like, don't share, doesn't matter. Uh, uh, thumbs up, thumbs down, whatever. Um, the only important thing is, hey, Get outside. All right. Oh, and did want to show you the guy. Give a very nice thank you card for this. Uh, and again, I will be putting a link below uh, so you could look at this hammock and look at some of the other colors he's got. And now, get outside. See you guys.